Hi everyone. I'm writing some notes down. Ooh, that just jumped out of my hand. I've been doing some automatic writing lately. Hi, Eric and Summerlin. Welcome. Come on in, everybody. Entre dans mon chambre. Oh, who speaks French? Ooh, I said entre dans mon chambre. It's like enter my room. I'm using the new tarot deck today because I just did a reading. Hi, hi, Lozano Bear. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. I just did a reading that was so great, like an hour ago with someone with freaking great energy. I love my, all my clients have great energy. I love you guys. Even sometimes we come in down or something. I'm like, let's clear that shit and let's get to work. Wait, I got to move my crystals around. Riley, Shay, Shay, I met your son. <laughs> Which one? Ooh. Um, put your questions in the box. Riley, I know who, I know which son you met. You met the one, I have a social son and I have an antisocial son, so you probably met the social one. Um, but I'm not going to say which is which. But I love my boys. I love my boys. Including my husband. He's one of my boys. Okay, if you have a question, you have to put it in that little box. But I see somebody asking about will there be a baby in their family this year? And my answer is yes. I don't know why I said it so fast. I'm like, yes. Yes, there's a baby in your family this year. I can't tell if it's a boy or a girl, but... But it feels like it's this year. That's what I want to say to you. I just felt because, you know why? Because I pay attention to signs and there's like squirrels running up and down the roof over my office today. And the client that I was talking about that I did a reading for, I felt so much baby energy around her, even though she doesn't want one right away. But I don't, I said, I don't care this one coming in. Like anyway, anyway, so yes, my answer is yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you about my hair. You know what this is? Dry shampoo. And this is a great one. This is a Redken dry shampoo. I don't know the name of it, but it's like, that's what you do when you can't get. I'm in between, like I live in three different places because I'm moving. I'm moving to Rancho Mirage, but guess what? I will be here for one week out of every month, maybe more in Santa Monica. And of course I do remote readings everywhere. So, Kathy, you're so welcome. Beautiful baby. I see, I can't tell if it's a boy or girl. Okay, if you ask me a question, do not ask again uh, this week, please. Give everybody a turn. Hi, Shirley. Will I get hired as an intern from Spectrum Healthcare? Okay, Marie, let me, I guess this is your first time in here. Nobody can tell you the future. I'm pretty good at it. 50-50, maybe 80-20, but nobody can, nothing is definite because people have choices to make. They do things with, you got other people involved, but I'm always happy to pick a card because I love to do this and I'm right a lot of the time. So the question is, will you get hired as an intern? And I say, hey, if you don't, no big deal. There's a greater job waiting for you. But everybody, let's mind meld for Marie and will she get hired as an intern? Ooh, if there's travel involved, yes. Do you have to travel a ways to get to this place? Um, <laughs> Riley, Shay, Shay. Yes, your mom and I are going to be besties. We're going to be like this. We're going to be riding golf carts side to side. But I'm going to be riding the golf cart to the gated, guarded place to pick up my clients. Because you guys, I'm going to have this, like, ma I have a magical casita I'm setting up there. It's the magical casita for the Psychic Shirley experience. Okay. Um... Oh, <laughs> okay, Spectrum, help. listen, surrender. Hey, Marie, surrender. And is this job person? I want to get to questions, but I feel like there's fun in the room today. Like we're bringing all the joyful fun in. So there's, do you really want to work for this place? That's a star card. I think, yes, you will get hired. And are you a paid intern or an unpaid intern? If you're an unpaid intern, uh, for sure you're going to get hired because then it, there's no money involved and that's what they like to do there. Okay, so I'm going to go to somebody who isn't, um, Mama Bear, four, four, five. Did you ask me a question last week? <laughs> Riley Shay Shay. I need to meet her if she sometimes sees ghosts. I sometimes see ghosts, but sometimes I don't. But usually I do. Are your grandparents with you at night? They watch over you at night, Mama Bear. They're there with you at night. Um, they're there at night looking out for you. Especially, uh, especially grandpa. I want to say grandpa more than grandma almost, like his energy. Oh, look, I said I want to say that, and there's the man that shows up. Oh, my God. Yes, he's definitely there, and he's doing something. <laughs> he likes to eat. I'm seeing him eating, like, crunchy potato chips or something and trying not to wake you up. I wonder if this guy ate in bed. I wonder if that's one of his... You know, one of his things, or if he liked the occasional drink. When I see the devil, I think of somebody who likes the occasional drink. 
He's like drinking beer and eating pretzels while you're sleeping. That's what he's doing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's go to, ooh, the babbling bard. Ooh, I like that. Hi, Shirley. It's summer again. I was wondering if I should keep trying to pursue a current crush. Oh, do I know you? Because I never remember. I never remember. You can't take this the wrong way, everybody. But I get stuff on the download and I don't hold on to anything. So it's just like, that's just the way it is. Your question is too long and so I can't see it. But it says I was wondering if I should keep trying to pursue a current crush. Okay, listen. What's my lesson in here? Lesson 101, we never pursue. We especially never pursue men. We don't do that. If it's a crush and you're pursuing, take your foot off the gas, put your foot on the brake, and back up. And you know what will happen if you do that, Summer dear? You have to be alone for a while, and you can't be afraid to be alone. And do your writing. Like, do keep your writing. You're funny. You're funny because you're funny like me. Look, do you want to be a mom? Trust your gut. Let him come to you. Everybody, Summer really has a crush on this guy. So let's see if we can get him to come. But not like that Stephen King movie where, remember, where he brings back somebody from the dead and then they're all like, like that. We want, we want, what was the name of that movie? Somebody give me the name of that movie where the little kid comes back. Pet Cemetery. That's it. I just got it. I just asked for it and I got it. We don't want a Pet Cemetery kind of crush where they come back and go, eh, and they want to, like, chop your head off. Look. This guy is just, he's got addictions. I'm picking up addictions today. Who has a, oh, it's not like a drinking addiction. It's a sex addiction. Who's got sex addiction out there? And do I have somebody out there named Sophie or something like that? I'm getting a message for somebody named Sophie or Sophia. It's like crazy. Okay, C. Karenina. I think it's been a while since you've asked me a question. Hi, Shirley. I feel guilty for living so far from my parents. What can I do to best support them? Okay, while I choose cards, I just want to tell you, what's the purpose of guilt? Nothing. There's no, because are you going to, do you feel guilty enough to move back to where they are? No. And are they happy you are where you are? Yes. They like freaking love you. So let go of guilt. I mean, it doesn't serve you any purpose, except it's occupying a space in your head. So what can you do to best support them? Because I don't think you want them living with you. And I don't think you're going back there. What you can do, well, bring them out on vacation to support them. You know what you can do to support them? Oh my God, this is going to make me cry. I'm sorry, everybody, I need a moment. The way for you to best support your parents is by being your best self, by being successful at your career and in your life and what you want to do. Because they love you so much. And the way you can, the way you can support them is by living your life not vicariously through them. You don't want to do that, but by living your best life and letting them be so proud of you because they're talking to their friends about you. You know, and so that's what I feel like. They're so proud of you. So do be the best C. Karenina you can be. And that's all we, that's all we ask for. That's what I ask of my own kids. You know what? I found out when my, when my mother passed, I thought she was, she was in Indiana and I was out here. And I always felt guilty. And then I found out from her friends that she told them that she was very happy uh, that I was out here living my best life. Well, not really my best life, but the best I could do life, right? That's what we want to do. We want to live the best we can do life. Okay, how is my relationship going to change in the next 6 to 12 months? That's very broad. How about how's, what I feel in your energy? Erin, you're making me laugh. What I feel in your energy is how's your relationship going to change in the next 6 to 12 minutes? The next 6 to 12 days? How can you know but it, got, it has to change for the good? That's the question is, is my relationship going to change for the better? So let's take a look and see what we get. You're welcome, C. Karenina. I love you. I love you guys. Stop trying to be the boss. Who's trying to be the boss? Stop trying to know. Be in it. Does he bring you flowers? Or is he, you don't bring me flowers? Oh, he doesn't have a good singing voice. Um, this is how it's going to change. Ooh, you might get pregnant. Is this a serious relationship or something? Like, what's going on there? It's going to change. Everything changes. Look, I think it's getting more serious. I think it's more getting more serious, and you should practice birth control. That's what I think. Okay, that's my answer to that question. And remember, I come here, I come here on Mondays in entertainment and light. And this is this is a light version of a reading that you would get with me when you come in person because this goes back to my stand-up comedy days where I just like to have fun and fuck around. But you're getting serious answers from me, but everything is very light. So that's why I don't take heavy questions today. 
Yes, you're pretty serious. See, but do not, when you have that baby, do not name her Shirley. Because I don't like my name, especially if it's a boy. Okay, wait one second. Yes, birth control. Wait, so how can I get my mom to leave her Trump-loving hoarder boyfriend? <laughs> That's Okay, let's pull a card on that. Oh, my God, you can't get her to leave him because maybe... Oh my God, I just saw a big bread basket on that guy. Is she there for the sex or something? Like he's carrying a full load there. But a lot of Trump supporters do because the more they have down there, the less they have up here. Wait one second. How can we get her to leave? Let's 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 raise because I might have some Trump supporters in this room. I don't know. I, I, uh, but let's all go like this. We want him to leave. We want him to leave. Let's get that bread basket to stop working. And maybe he will. Cause we can, wait, how do we? I'm gonna pull a card on this. Temperance and balance. Ooh, you have to go in there and you have to start decluttering him. You gotta bug him. That's the thing, is bug him. But I don't feel like he's going anywhere. You know what? Your mom made her choice. You can't do it. You're powerless. You have to disconnect. That's it. That's all you because you cannot talk to a Trump loving person. You just can't talk to them. Their eyes glaze over. Their eyes glaze over like everybody in the desert, like their eyes are glazing over when I tell them that I'm a psychic medium. <laughs> it's like every. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait one second. Um, here it is. Yanni's 10. Is it possible for me to meet my higher self very soon? Let's introduce you right now. Hello, Yanni. Meet your higher self, Pedro. Pedro! Meet Yanni. This is your higher self. Your higher self is a male. That's what I just felt when I connected to that. It's like male energy, like Paul. Like who's saying Paul? Because I really got initial P with that. So look, this is what you do. So the question is, how do you want to be? Um, this, I told you, look, it's a man. Your higher self is a man. And look, that's an archangel. Let's start with the easiest one to meet, which is Archangel Michael, because he's like everywhere. That's what I hear. That's what I feel. So just go, Archangel Michael, I'd like a, I'd like a signal from you. I'd like something from you. He's going to give you a signal like this. Ooh, this is a, one of my clients gave me this beautiful amethyst crystal. Look for amethyst crystal, hold it in your hand and connect with that way. But you can meet him like in the next five minutes when my show is over. Just go. Hey, send me a message. But I also feel somebody with the initial Paul around you. Really, really strong. Or initial, I said Paul, but I meant initial P. Um, just Bella, what happened between me and Aldo? He ghosted me and I'm so hurt. Never be hurt when somebody ghosts you. Because you want somebody who's in the flesh. We don't want a ghost. We want an in the flesh. And your person's coming. So rejection is God's protection. I tell that to all my, all my people. Rejection is God's protection. Look, let me show you something. Why did he ghost you? Because he's got addictions. This is a big theme today, addictions. I don't think it's drinking, it might be sex, it might be commitment, it could be, it's a, it's a lot of stuff like that. Look, he disappeared, he goes into the night, he's got, he's a dark person, he's got dark energy. Not evil, but just, when I say dark energy, I mean somebody's not working on themselves. If you're not working on yourself, your energy gets clotted, you gotta, you gotta work on yourself, baby. And look, anxiety this guy this this butthole to reject you he doesn't know what he wants and there's wonderful men out there and you're going to find your wonderful man and just Bella, i love you so much i'm going to take an extra moment to pull a card for you and show you who this wonderful man is watch this lucky you're going to get very lucky see that devil is going bye bye aldo everybody together with me one two three bye bye aldo bye bye aldo I'll do better next time. I'll do better. Here comes somebody that's, ooh, there's somebody that likes you, that's around you, that you're not seeing, that they're looking at you. Not like a stalker, don't get scared. Um, but their judgment day is coming. You're going to meet somebody who has one child. He has like, I know that you have kids, but this person has one child, I feel. That's what I get about that. Um, okay, so just just be happy that that happened. And don't be heartbroken. Be Your heart is whole. This looks like a heart. Your heart is whole. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to somebody I've never gone to before. I love you guys so much. Um, okay, hi, I'm finally moving back to California. What should I focus on? Paying the rent because it's, it's a big <laughs> Rent is a lot. Oh, my God. Okay, what should you focus on? Raj Haim. Raj Haim, what should you focus on? Ooh, 
you should focus on, this is a teaching card. I don't know if you're a teacher, but when I see your energy, I see it like I'm dancing, like I'm a dance instructor. Like maybe you want to be like an aerobics and ooh, focus on getting in shape, like focus on getting that, like getting your groove on. That's what I feel. Focus on getting your groove on, like getting into the groove of this place, getting into the groove of um, getting into the groove of California. The other thing that you should do, but I see you dancing. I see lots of dancing, clubbing. Ooh, being a bartender. No, I see you. I see you in movement, modeling, artistic. Look, you're coming here. Focus on focus on being. Focus on your life plan. Now you know you may not have a life plan, but you wrote one down before you came in. But now I started to talk like I'm confused, and that's your energy that's making me get like that. Like I get forgetful. So you have to focus on focusing. How's that? Focus on focusing, on moving like this because that's what your energy does. It moves like this, like up. Oh, and whenever I get a ding, I know that that's the truth. Okay, so I think I have time for, I just want to say I will be back here next Monday, but I have time for one more question. Um, and who is that going to be? Laura Jane, 1224. It's you. I'm picking you. I'll be back here next Monday, and I'm going to be, um, I am going to be doing this from here still next week. Okay, can I have a card? There's the card, the hermit. Laura, have you been feeling alone? I like, you know what I like about the hermit card? It says, go deep, go inside, go inside yourself. Like go deep inside yourself and examine what you wanna do with your life. Examine your relationships, write, write about it. Like write, write things down like I do on this little, write things down on a little post-it or when my clients come, I do a little download. But that's your card, Laura. Don't isolate, connect. And if you don't feel like connecting with people, connect with words, connect, connect to the world in a private way. If that's what you feel like doing. I love you guys so much. I say, I say it again, so much. Ooh, such moments. Yeah. Oh, Louis Armstrong. I'm going to have to go listen to him. Siri, play Louis Armstrong. Oh wait, that's not Siri. Siri doesn't do that. Alexa, play Louis Armstrong. Did you hear that? Oh, I don't hear it. Here it comes. Everybody, ask Alexa to play Louis Armstrong. And it's playing, hello, Dolly. Oh, they, does Louis Armstrong sound like Cookie Monster? Why wasn't he the voice for that? Okay, love you guys. I will see you here next Monday at 5.15 p.m. And you can book a session with me through my uh, bio thing or whatever and stay in touch and send me messages. Love you madly. Bye.